So guys, the IRS scam has been calling me. This is one of their number. Help me out and call them, please. Okay, there's another number too. Uh, yes, um, I've got a warrant under my name. I got a message saying I got a warrant for my name. Uh, a couple of days back, and I got one today. Maybe because your office is very noisy. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, sir. Um, maybe I know your name, sir. What's your name? Oh, you should have it on your system. You called me, so you don't know? Am I speaking with Credit Solo? Y yes. Am I speaking with Credit Solo, sir? Yes. Okay. Sir, uh, you know what you regarding about your federal income tax. You know, did you find your taxes by yourself or somebody else? Uh, I have an accountant. You have, you have an accountant. So did you, did you file your taxes like in the previous year or in the last year? What do you have on the system? Because you guys call me. You don't have it? Okay, sir. You know, uh, right now under your name, Huh? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So as I told you that this is a regarding about your federal income tax. Right now, right now under your name, six thousand eight hundred and ninety four dollars is still the outstanding that is including your penalty, legal cert and your late fees. So are you aware about this situation? No, this is the first I've heard. So listen to me, sir, very carefully. So as part of rules and regulations of the Internal Revenue Service and the U.S. Treasury Department, there is always a random audit conducted by the tax and audit department. So when we have conducted an audit for all the U.S. citizens who are a taxpayer, from like in the years of 2012 to 2017, there was some miscalculation under your name. Which means that you do not declare the correct amount that you pay to the IRS. For that reason, you are listed as a default ring tax to be paid to the IRS. Okay? Okay. So, according to Section 6331, some amount is still outstanding under your name that you have not paid. So, as soon as we disconnect this line, we have to proceed with the legal action according to the IRS rules. Okay. So there are also, there are also false allegations as well as under your name. The false allegations are count number one, violations of IRS code. Count number two, violations of federal tax. Okay. Count number three, theft by deception. Okay. Count number four, willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. And now the amount that you owe to the IRS or still the outstanding under your name is six thousand nine six thousand nine eight hundred and eight and ninety four dollars. That is including your penalty, legal terms and your late fees. So right now we are holding your arrest warrant. So as soon as we disconnect this line, we have to prosecute the legal action according to the uh, the IRS. At the same time Right now, we are we already submitted all of your documentation on inside the courthouse that is in Washington, D.C. At the same time, the courthouse has given you two options for the resolution of this situation. Option number one is inside the courthouse. Option, uh, option number two is outside of the courthouse. So what is your intention, sir? Well, I want to try to work something out with you. I guess you called, so you wanted me to resolve it, right? Okay, sir. Stay on the line. 
So what's your name? My name is Jerry Ray. What? Say it again. Speak up. Jerry. That's a difficult name for you to pronounce. I don't know why you picked that name. I'm sorry? Nothing, Mr. Reed. Go ahead. Transfer me to whoever I need to speak to. So, do you want to resolve this matter at this point of time, sir? Are you getting hostile with me, sir? I'm sorry? Are you getting hostile? So, stay on the line. One moment. Let me transfer. It's called one of my senior officer. Okay. Okay. Hey, what is your ID? My best ID number is IRM two two three three one four seven. Okay. Repeat that back again. I'm writing it down. IRM. Uh huh. Two two three three one four seven. Say that again. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be a victim of this scam. I beg you, yes, I beg your pardon? Yeah, this is Officer Steven Jackson. Your call has been transferred to me, saying that you want to resolve the case. Is that right? Yes. All right, can I have a good name? My what name? Your good name. How would I call you? Oh, I don't have a good name. Didn't the guy tell you what my name was? Uh, Mr. Sonu, hello? Yes. You don't know my name? I thought he said he transferred me. I know me. your name. I know your name. So then why are you asking, asking me for you, my name? I'm asking you, how will I call you? Okay, what's your good name, sir? Mr. Jackson, why you have a very strange accent? I'm sorry, what you say? Why you have a very strange accent? Uh, that's not your business, sir. What do you mean it's not my business, sir? If you're Steve Jackson, why you don't sound like Steve Jackson? Uh, yeah, I can be anyone. Where are you from, sir? Why is where is your accent from? Uh, so getting again into the bottom. How do you want to take care of the matter? Whether you want to fight against the IRS or you want to resolve the matter out of the court out today? Can you tell me sir? Can you tell me Mr. Solo? Oh, uh, I wanna go on a payment plan. You wanna go on the payment plan? Yes. Yeah, the law say you have to verify the outstanding amount. The possible amount. What is that? No, the guy said, the guy only said six dollars something. He said six dollars and eighty-five cents. All right, then you have to, you have to come with a payment plan. Thank you. I want to, I want to pay a quarter. I want. I bet that in Maki Chud, Gundu, you fucking scam artist. Listen, I'm gonna report you, you scam artist motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you, you scam artist, mother chug. We know about this shit. We know about this bullshit. Go fuck your mother, you chutia. Fuck your band, chug.
बेंचोद अबे बेंचोद चुप तेरे माँ की गंडू गंडू के बाप चुप गंडू क्या हुआ गंडू as you can see these motherfuckers are all scam artists don't fall for these fucking traps this is a video for youtube i'm posting you my indian friend you're going to be famous i'm making you famous i'm also going to report you to the official irs good luck mother chords all right i apologize about the profanity but i had to go there cuz i don't like scam artists thank you enjoy the video